When it comes to networking, it's not who you know, it's how do you know them and how do they know you? I'm 48 years old, have had a 20 plus year career so far. What I've learned is you can be this brilliant innovator, product developer, designer, but if no one knows about you, then you might as well be on the shelf. And so understanding that in the black community, there are these trusted networks that when people like myself have been afforded to access them, the black church, just HBCUs, civil rights organizations, those relationships and connections and introductions and people I could lean on when times got tough made the difference. Extend a heart in my networking, I'm looking at how I can add value to people and what they're doing rather than just going like straight to the sale and straight for the clothes. Because I always make it a point to learn something about the company, about the person I'm talking to before I jump on the call to create rapport. And when it was then time for me to make an ask, I had accumulated this currency of having invested time in others and what they were doing. More than the performative or what you're saying, I think it's important to show your work and show what you're doing. If I were talking to a software developer, I'm less interested in looking at your resume and I want to see your GitHub. Show me some of the code you wrote. Even if it's broken, people are more apt to help you in the work versus like, I want to do this and I really want to be in film and I look up to you. Build something. You can literally search how to do anything. And so I would say show up with the work, less of the performative and more of the product. For small business owners that are looking to tap into the African-American community, I think it's important to understand the various entry points. You can come through celebrities and athletes, but there's also business associations, there's industry associations, there's volunteer organizations, there's all these affinity groups many of them going back over 100 years or so. If you invest in those relationships, you can build a consumer base, a base to hire from, a base to recruit from. All of those things are available when you network with the culture. We're at South by Southwest online. It's new, it's different, but everything from our virtual reality campus to our live stream. So you got the culture, you've got the creatives, you've got the tech companies, and you've got a thousand Black and Latinx engineers, developers, business majors. And so now that we're in this online experience, I think it's more critical that we leverage resources and tools to make sure that our digital persona, first impression, truly matters now.